Bacterial cell wall is a rigid layer that lies just outside the plasma membrane. It is one of the most important prokaryotic structure for several reasons. The cell wall helps determining the cell shape. It also helps protecting the cell from osmotic lysis. It also protects the cell from toxic substances. And in case of pathogens, the cell wall may contribute to pathogenicity. On the basis of their response to gram staining, bacteria can be divided into two different groups. They are gram positive bacteria and gram negative bacteria. Gram positive bacteria stain purple, whereas gram negative bacteria stain pink or red. Hello and welcome to Sam Biology class. Friends, today we shall discuss about the structure of gram positive and gram negative bacterial cell wall. Before discussing the structure of bacterial cell wall, we should know the structure of peptidoglycan. Peptidoglycan is an anonymous mesh-like polymer composed of many identical subunits. This polymer contains two sugar derivatives, N-acetyl glucosamine and N-acetyl muramic acid and several different amino acids. Three of these amino acids are not found in protein. They are D-glutamic acid, D-alanine and mesodiaminopimelic acid. Structure of Peptidoglycan. This figure shows the structure of peptidoglycan subunit present in most gram negative and many gram positive bacteria. The subunit consists of a molecule of N acetyl muramic acid which is connected by a glycosidic bond with another molecule of N acetyl D glucosamine. A peptide chain consisting of four alternating D and L amino acid is connected to the carboxyl group of N acetyl muramic acid. The amino acids that are present in the peptide chain are L alanine, D glutamic acid, mesodiaminopimelic acid and D-alanine. In many bacteria, mesodiaminopimelic acid is replaced by another diamino acid which is usually L-lysine. So this is the composition of peptidoglycan subunit present in most gram-negative and many gram-positive bacteria. The backbone of peptidoglycan consists of alternating residues of N-acetyl D-glucosamine and N-acetyl muramic acid. So N-acetyl D-glucosamine and N-acetyl muramic acids are connected by glycosidic bonds in alternating manner to form the peptidoglycan chains. These are the peptidoglycan chains that form the backbone of this polymer. A peptide chain consisting of four alternating D and L amino acid is connected to the carboxyl group of N-acetyl muramic acid. To form a strong mesh-like polymer, these peptidoglycan chains must be joined by crosslink between adjacent peptide chains. Often, the carboxyl group of terminal D-alanine of one peptide chain is connected directly to the amino group of mesodiaminopimelic acid of another adjacent peptide chain. Some bacteria use a peptide interbridge to link the terminal D-alanine of one peptide chain with the 
measure diamine of pimelic acid of another adjacent peptide chain. This peptide interbridges are absent in most of the gram negative bacteria. With or without peptide interbridge, this cross linking between peptidoglycan chains leads to the formation of an anonymous mesh like polymer that is known as peptidoglycan. Now we shall discuss about the cell wall of gram positive bacteria. The gram positive bacterial cell wall is thick and is composed primarily of peptidoglycan. In case of gram positive bacteria, the tetrapeptide side chains are connected by peptide interbreeds. For example, in Staphylococcus aureus, the peptide interbreeds is composed of 5 glycine residues. So, in case of Staphylococcus aureus, the side chains are connected by a pentaglycine interbreeds. Whereas in case of gram negative bacteria such as in E. coli, the side chains are directly connected without having any interbreeds. In addition, the gram positive cell wall contains large amount of tacoic acid. The tacoic acid are the polymer of glycerol or ribitol joined by phosphate group. So friends, this figure shows the gram-positive envelope and this is the cell wall which is composed primarily of peptidoglycan. These are the peptidoglycan chains and the small structure represent cross links. And these are the tacoic acid molecules. These molecules remain connected with the peptidoglycan itself or remain connected with the plasma membrane lipid. When the tacoic acid is connected with the plasma membrane lipid, it is known as lipotacoic acid. These tacoic acid molecules are negatively charged. They provide negative charge to the cell surface of gram-positive bacteria. In case of gram-positive cells, the periplasmic space which is present between the plasma membrane and the cell wall is smaller. This is the periplasmic space which is present between the cell wall and the plasma membrane. This space contains relatively few proteins because any protein secreted by the cell into the periplasmic space easily diffuse through the porous peptidoglycan. The enzymes that are secreted by gram-positive bacteria are called as exoenzyme, which degrade polymers that are too large to be transported into the cell across the plasma membrane. In Staphylococci and most other gram-positive bacteria on the outer surface of cell wall, there is an additional protein layer called as S layer. S layer is present in many gram-positive bacteria also in gram-negative bacteria and in archibacteria. The S layer consists of components which probably play a role in the interaction of the microbial cell with the environment. So friends, this is all about the structure of peptidoglycan and gram-positive bacterial cell wall. For more updates, please subscribe my YouTube channel, Sam Biology Class. And also please, please share your comments because they are very useful to me. Thank you very much friends.